Hey guys, it's your boy Anthony, and I'm here to show you guys how to import GIF sequence or animation sequence frame by frame animation into Clip Studio. Your frames and them, how to import it. But this video will be quite different from other videos that you have seen so far. I just show you in depth in what I just do when it comes to reference or if I want to retouch up something on my animation or something like that you understand or if i'm looking for reference and stuff online so first thing first you want to go online right so i did this already this here is called easygifts.com this will be in the description down below right so what i am doing in this thing here this thing here if you're putting gif or videos or anything like that you could convert them to GIF, to GIF, I keep saying GIF, GIF or MP4 videos. Or you, you, could, you could do practically anything in it, but it has its limits because it's a free website. When it comes to, to videos and stuff, it will only take up to 50 frames. That is just a free version part of it. It will only convert to 50 frames. If you're if your GIF video or GIF image is that long, have that amount of frames in it. All right. So let's say I go into Pinterest and I'm looking for reference. I want a walk cycle. I want a run cycle. I want some kind of cycle of animation as a GIF. You understand? I'm just looking for the, 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 the movements. So I come here, I right click. And I save this. Right? Then I go across to, to the um, easy GIF and I click choose file and I go into the folder with all of them. So now I can click this, which I download, and put it in here and upload it. It will upload. Right? And make sure you end the GIF to MP4 because we're gonna be going into After Effects afterwards. I'll be showing you guys something in After Effects, which are, well, me and all, some of you guys already know or not, but for the newcomers and them, this might blow your mind. All right, so we come in here and we convert it. And it converts into an MP4 video. When it converts to that, you click Save, and you save it on your desktop, you save it wherever you're going to be saving it, right? You save it. So moving on now to the next topic now. After Effects. Right, we're in After Effects now. And in After Effects here now, you wanna drag in what you come with your or the video you make now. So we drag in that MP4 video. It'll only convert MP4 videos into the sequence you're looking for. Alright, so I come here. I drag this here into new composition. I don't like the resolution. Well, I want the resolution to be small, so I go up here into composition. Yeah. I go into composition settings. And you can see here the width and the height. The width is 500, the height is 440. So I will raise that to 1920 by 1080 and for you guys who opening this for the first time and doing this for the first time make sure this here is unclicked make sure the box is empty i repeat make sure the box is empty you don't mess with anything else here all right that is that now you come here now and yes stretch this out as big as you want right you want it as big as you want no matter about the quality and stuff like that the reason why it's showing so blurry is because i have it here on quarter i'll show you again this here you see my cursor quarter if i put it on full it get cleaner i don't want that messing with when i render in and stuff like that so i leave it at quarter yeah, so and then I come back up here into composition. 
and I go to add to render queue. Is it going to render queue? I don't want two of this, only one. I click this and I come up here to this here format, format, and then I come here to PNG sequence. PNG sequence, I click that, I press OK. Now, before you, you, you render this, make sure you have a folder on your desktop so you could render it into that folder. So you come here into output to, and you could output to the folder on your desktop. If you go on your desktop, you could right click, create new, create a new folder, right? And render it onto your desktop. Well, I know some of you guys would like to see the process, so I create a new folder, I click it, open it, save. And then I click this, render. And that will render out. You hear that song? All right, that's glorious. All right, so we click that. We exit out of that. We don't need that no more. We don't need that. You understand? We open this. We open this. And there you go. All of the frames on them. To you. Going into Clip Studio now. Yeah, so I'm going into Clip Studio now. If this video has helped you so far, well, if it, it en enlightened you in any way, please like and subscribe. Let me move on to the next topic, the next thing now. All right. We are in Clip Studio now. So in Clip Studio, what you want to do now, as you can see here, this is the character I'll be animating in Walk Cycle. The character I make here to redrawn, which I'll be animating in walk cycle. Right? This here is a commission though. But this is the redrawn version of the character that I've got I've given to draw. And this is what I'll be animating here. Right? So I know what her name is, but this commission. So moving on now, come here, new, and in here now, I animate with 1920 by 1080, resolution 600. Down here, timeline name, you can name it whatever. Frame rate by 30, playback time by 60. You could register 120, 500, whatever. Right, um, sequence number and stuff, you don't need to mess with that. So I press OK and this come up. Right, so we have this. So we come up here now. The next step now, you want to go up to animation. Right, now you want to go up to file, up to file, and go to import. Go up to file import and then you'll come out to create file object and that will go to the folder you, you go to your folder your, your director your desktop you go into your work cycle you go into here all of these here you click this the first one go down you hold your you hold shift and click the last one this is your shortcut if you guys didn't know, no, it then you press open. Now that sequence will load and it will come into your layers here, your layer right here. Now you want these to come to the timeline. Click this first one here, this first frame here, you click that, then you go up to animation, then you're going to edit track. Assign multiple cells. This will pop up here. Then you go to assign by cell name. We so appear to cell start, meaning it will start with one, but you don't want that. You want to start with the animation.
0 to 23 looks like if you want here number of frames you can put it by 2 if you can bump it up to 2 So if I press this here, this is how it is done, and it fit the screen as how I want it. How I render it, that's how it fits, and that's how I want it to fit. That be resizing any nonsense and stuff like that. No. Somebody in the comment in a video I was watching said that oh, if he put in his rough anime, his rough sketch or his line art work and he wants to color it, he can't, in, can't interact with it. The reason for that is because all of these here, so if I right click on one of them and go to interview, image material layer, that is what the layer, the, 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 the front images you have here the layers you have here is name as you know to do that which is going to be painstakingly you have to right click on it and you have to go on rasterize the only way you, rast you can rasterize all of them you have to rasterize them one by one which will be painstaking if it's a lot of frames it's it's going to be headache you have to rasterize each and every one of them you understand so I will come here, rasterize. It have an easier way to do this, which you have to make a shortcut. You will have to make a shortcut. You understand a shortcut? A shortcut, um, like to say, a auto action shortcut. You will have to make in order to do this. And I will have to show you guys in the next video how to do that. The auto action shortcuts and how to set up for animation and stuff like that. In my next video, I will show you guys that. So as you can see here, I just going through here. Rasterize. 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 But you see now, this is not a rough sketch, so I don't really need to draw or color anything in this. I'm just using this as reference just to get across how I want this character to look when they walk in with the same walk cycle. They ain't gonna look like the character, but they're gonna be using the same steps, you know, starting the same movements. So I just using this as reference so I can get the same movements of this character here from Lilo and Stitch. You understand? So if this video was insightful and it it um piqued you guys interest, you know, so you guys learn something new, something that you, you never seen before or something you never think about, please like and subscribe and follow for more. If the video was insightful though, and if it enlightened you, like and subscribe. Alright, I hope the video wasn't too long and I hope it didn't waste your time. Just let me know in the comments if it was uh, if it was good for you guys or not. All right, later's bye bye. Thanks for coming.